Hello everyone. So in this session, we will understand what exactly are the dynamic tables in Snowflake. So let's move on. So we will understand how to create a dynamic table. So dynamic table will be created by this particular command create dynamic table and you will give the dynamic table name here and there is a target underscore lag which you have to put here like what exactly is the refresh duration and then you have to put the query so if you see here you can put any query here with the transformation with any join or any filter conditions so in the materialized view if you remember there were certain limitations on the query like what exact query you can put into it but this dynamic table which is a new feature launched by snowflake is supporting any query in the dynamic table when you are actually creating the dynamic table let's move on it actually stores the results and the third important thing is that it refreshes automatically based on the target underscore lag in which we can give the duration so let's understand in more detail what exactly is the refresh and the target underscore lag so before going on there let i want to mention here that this table continuously materializes the query results based on the target lag you have given into it so let's see what exactly is the refresh and the target lag so if you see these three commands here the first one is the alter command where you can use this alter dynamic table and you can suspend and resume so what does suspend and resume does is like if you have created a dynamic table already and you have given a target lag of like few minutes or few seconds or some hours and if you want to continuously keep going then you can resume it and or you can suspend it first time if you want to refresh a dynamic table you have to give alter dynamic table a refresh by giving the dynamic table name so let's understand what exactly is the target lag so if you have seen in the previous slide where we, i have mentioned how we can really create a dynamic table so dynamic table will be created with this particular target lag and you can give this number here and then you can choose the second minute hours or day another value which you can enter in the target lag is the downstream so downstream is the value which will require you to manually refresh the table so how it works is like when you manually refresh a table at a downstream it will refresh any other table which is upstream in the graph which we will mention in the future slide what exactly is a graph so just to recap that the dynamic table are refreshed automatically and in that a user can give a target underscore lag in terms of time as well as a keyword which is a downstream let's move on and you have to mention the warehouse as well so let's see how can you really query a dynamic table so this is a dynamic table which we have created create dynamic table table name target underscore lag you can give either the downstream or you can give the minutes hours days depending upon the requirement and here you can give the query so results are immediate this is what happens when you create a dynamic table and you refresh it and then you do a select star from dynamic table you will see the results immediately and it refreshes within the duration whatever duration you have mentioned it will refresh in it write does not affect read this is also called the snapshot isolation it means when you are curing a table you will get the results and if someone else or the table is getting updated it will not be affecting anything these tables are pretty fast to query so there is no issues when you are actually curing the table so let's move on so let's see what are the main key features of the dynamic table so dynamic table incremental refreshes so what happens when the refresh happens based on the duration you have provided it will do a incremental refresh it will not do the full refresh the first time it will be a full refresh second one is the as i have mentioned earlier there is no limitation on the sql you can give any sql when you are creating a dynamic table any transformation joins unions filters etc there are no limitation at all as there were in the materialized view 
target lag can be defined for different tables hence configurable so you see if you have multiple tables in your system and you have defined a pipeline then you can give the target lag at a different tables like you can configure it each each dynamic table can have different target underscore lag parameter you can easily build the pipelines and dynamic table internally manages the refresh and the orchestration so what it means is like if you have certain dynamic tables upstream and you are using those dynamic table in the downstream in the pipeline and it so happens that the downstream dynamic table needs the refresh more quickly then it manages inter internally the refresh of the upstream tables we can see it in the demo when i will go there so this is what exactly it is like it it manages the refresh and the orchestration every dynamic table always returns the result this is again the snapshot isolation that whenever you are curing a dynamic table you will get the results it is not impacted by table getting updated or anything by any other processes another most important thing or you can say another main thing which happens when you are creating a dynamic table that internally in a snowflake a dependency graph is actually built so whenever you create dynamic table you can go in your snowflake snow site ui and you can see the dependency graph and as we have seen refreshes are scheduled automatically once you have given a target underscore lag then the refresh keeps on happening until you suspend it refresh and meet the lag targets and provide the data so it provides the data as per the lag requirement whatever you have given so let's see how the dependency graph looks like so suppose you have a downstream upstream table which is called t1 and and another table you have created which is a dynamic table t1 on it and then you have another table a normal table t2 you have created a dynamic table d2 and then on these two tables you have created another dynamic table dt3 and then dt4 and so on so when you create this type of a structure in your sql you will go back and see in snow site ui that this type of dependency graph is mentioned here and it will show like what are the target lag and how it is getting refreshed so in our next session what we will do i will show you the demo how can you actually build a data pipeline i hope you like this session here i have explained you what exactly it is dynamic table this is a pretty new feature which has been recently launched i hope you enjoy it thank you so much for watching